Is race still an issue in the music business? Race is still an issue in the world. So yes, it is still an issue in the music business. Um, it's not the sickness though. It's a symptom of the sickness, in my opinion. I think classism really more than anything around this planet is, a, is rampant. You got money, you don't got money. Do you think that more, do you think when you started touring around the world, and I feel like America is very race driven, and like in, uh, the UK is very class driven. Yeah, yeah. So I'm having conversations with people here about this. They always bring it back to the class and I always bring it back to the race. Do you think that your perspective on that has, because you've traveled so much around the it's world. It's broadened, yeah. yeah, definitely. But still, I see the same thing because England has showed me classism. Like for instance, I met this guy, man, big up to this brother, man, He's still a friend of mine to this day from 1997. His name is Skinny Man. You know Skinny Man? MC, right? So when I met Skinny, you know, first, and it come out of his mouth, first thing come out of his mouth was mad patois. I was like, yo. And that, that threw me to, for a loop and made me start looking at the race thing. It was around the same time the uh, uh, O.J. Simpson thing oh. happened and all that. So we, me and Soup was out here like trying to get pizza and shit in a, in, a, in a pizza spot. The fucking cops walked in and me and him was like. And they was laughing at us. And then one of the cops came over and talked to us like, yo. Y'all from America, man? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, because only America's edge up like that when the cops really? come around. I was like, so it was a lot of shit I learned that year, right? But like I said, English taught, England has taught me about classism, but still, racism is huge here, still. Still, you know, it's a predominantly white country. There's a lot of shit that happens where it may be subtle shit, you know, that I see because I travel and because I'm like the, the fucking sore thumb around here. I don't look like nobody around here. You know what I'm saying? I don't move like nobody around here. And when I talk, then everybody's like, hey, the most racist place anywhere around the world on the planet Earth is the airports. Really? Oh, dude, I see so much bullshit in the airports. It's scary. I see like people's true colors. I see when they come out. I hear speech. I, you know I me. Mean? I, I roam through. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tall as fuck. It ain't like you can't see me, but I'm always trying to reserve myself and listen more than I talk, especially when I'm traveling. So I learn more, you know what I'm saying? But the shit that I hear, I just, it just upsets the shit out of me. I hear people's personal conversations talking between each other and they, the most racist shit, the most, I don't give a fuck about nobody else kind of shit, you know what I mean? It's weird, you know, it's just some weird shit. So I, the, to answer your question, yeah, racism is definitely like the hardened milk on the top of the coffee, if you feel it, what I'm saying, it's there, everywhere. And of course, it's deeper. Or like I said, it's the symptom of the sickness. It's not the sickness itself. You know what I'm saying? If the body is, is has a flu, you know, it gets fever, it gets this and the third. Racism is just a fever. You know, I think the real problem is rich and poor. This whole, the whole thing uh, makes everything unequal. You know what I mean? And the world is able to see this inequality, but nobody's doing anything. And yeah, nobody about it. cares. That's that's my whole thing. That's because it's not based on, if, you know, the race or some concept that you can't touch. It's based on class, what you can't touch, money or not. But I do feel like all of the kids that are being born now are going to either be one of two things: they're going to be influenced by the fucking fuckery that's going on in this world, or they're going to be the, the, the anti-venom. One of the two. You know what I'm saying? That's, how, that's, that's the only thing I can see.